Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect man. And your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. Una pretty? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey you all. Okay? Now today I want to do, I've wanted for so long to do this video for you. You know, white rice has become a burning issue. I don't know why. But I'm going to wash this rice for seven times. What I'm going to show you, to, I'm going to show you. I want camera girl, I want you to get right in. I want to show you how you can get your white rice cooked. And people who are having cholesterol problems, diabetes. And people who are just trying to share away from white rice. Or you can get your white rice cooked on a healthy basis, a healthy way, so to speak. Where you get, uh, maybe not all, but probably about 75% of the starch out. Remember the Chinese, you know, they, eat, they consume a lot of white rice. So today, I have on some videos, prior videos, hurry up videos, I always talk about seven times white rice. Now I want to show you today. How you can go about it's a it's a bit hectic and tedious but you might not can do it all the time because of the time frame or you know it's it, it takes a little time but try to practice it maybe one and two times you might you know the process is a little bit time consuming so get right in I always talk to you about seven times white rice now we are washing the rice here so we are gonna wash it for seven times and I don't want anybody telling me who wants to me I wash my rice seven times. Yes, I want you all to look. This is like 20 ounces of rice. Look at the first water, you all. Okay, let me get it. I have a few utensils. This is the first water, number one. And we're throwing it off. I'm going to show you. Now we are at number two. So you know you get your white rice in. Mm -hmm, and you wash it. It doesn't make sense you fill up the container with a lot of water. It's not going to help. No, you can put both hands and you do a little thing like this if you care to. This is number two water, y'all. Please get right in. Remember, this is I'm teaching you all. I ain't going to edit out anything. Remember, we are going seven times. And I want you to take note, careful note, of how many, the, 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 the color of the water each time. And this is plain white rice. Get right in, camera girl. Are you in? Mm-hmm. This is number three. Okay. I want you to just get right in. Yes, I'm going to show you. And at the end, when you all watch this video, I want you to leave your feedback. And I hope I don't get confused with the amount of times. Because normally when I'm doing it, I normally just come to the sink and do it and don't talk. But this is number four. I hope you are looking at the, the, the color of the water each time it runs. This is number four water, y'all. Mm-hmm. So, we're doing that. And we are at... My water level just went down, family, but... Somebody probably is else inside the building is using water. That's how it goes sometimes. This is number five water, y'all. Number five. Somebody is using water in the building other than me. Oh, it's up back a little. So we are we were at number five in camera girl. Number five. Mm-hmm. This is, this is time consuming and it makes sense. That's number six. So we have one to go and this is it. Remember I'm showing you a healthy way of doing your white rice. Those who have been, cause sometimes let me tell you something. You have some little dishes like the curry chicken, the curry mutton stew peas. They require white rice. I'm going to if you're going to eat them with brown rice now or something. You're not going to just get that niceness there. This is number seven. Get right in camera girl. This is number seven water. 
look at it some people wash it more than this you can almost see the remember when we started at number one you could not see the rice but this is number seven okay y'all okay so now number seven we're going towards our pot on the stove we're gonna get it in right in remember it's 20 ounces it doesn't matter how much you do it the same i do it seven times maybe you might have a better quality rice and you can if it, if the rice quality is better than this maybe you can go about five times depending on how the water looks now we have that there we have some boil let's get our flame on okay i have my kettle here with some boiling water right back camera girl and i'm gonna pour just enough to cover the rice i'm gonna get the rice boiling now we ain't gonna put any salt we have boiling we're not we ain't gonna put any salt because we're gonna get this rice to a stage where it is Boiling. When it starts boiling, you'll see what is gonna happen. Okay, so we're leaving it right there with our flame up, and we're leaving it, and we're gonna wait on it to start boiling. Okay, y'all. Now we're gonna set up our strainer right over here. When it starts boiling, I'll get right into it, and I'll show you. But in the meantime, in between time that is boiling I want to welcome you all my new subscribers I want to welcome you all my old subscribers okay welcome once more to the Jamaican kitchen once more welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey this is not a show you all it's a real life thing when I cook inside here my family and myself, we can consume it all. Let me just close up my window, family. I'm getting some extra breeze in. So my flame is sort of blowing. Okay, y'all? So when what we do here is to show you in depth of what we are doing. You, I'm teaching you all how to cook Jamaican. And if I'm teaching you, I don't think I should be editing out anything. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes I watch some of these videos, you know, and I said to myself, oh Lord, suppose me never know how to do that now. How in the world, how would I be able to do that? How? And you know what happened, family? Sometimes they do some of these things and when they edit it out, you know, and if you really look and you see where they edit and come out, if you're really in, that's why you see at all times I keep asking, are you in? Are you in? If you are really in on some of these things, you know, you realize say, something not right, you know. You know that. If you are really in on some of these things, you realize say, something not right. Say, for instance, somebody's going to say, you're going to, you know, season a, a chicken, you're going to do a whole chicken, and you're going to shove it in the oven at 275. How in the name of legs are you going to start baking a chicken, a whole raw chicken at 275? It must be at a higher temperature and then after a certain time you reduce it. Because look here, put it in at 275 for one hour. Okay, put in a season up your whole chicken, put it in at 275, which is 275 Fahrenheit. And you get that down to Celsius, which is about 275 140 about 130 135 there about 32 132 or 37 going about there um celsius okay because the cell the fahrenheit is two times the celsius something like that so some of these things when they edit it out you will never ever get it and let me tell you something sometimes even if people who don't edit like myself much Yes, there are things that we have got, we have got to head it, right? But for me, it's, it's very little. It's very little. I prefer to do it in two and three parts for you to get it than for me to edit it out. Because how are you going to get it? Because I might just edit out the wrong part, okay? So now, when it is edited out and it goes wrong on you, what happens? What happens? Now, we're coming right back here. And... I think we are boiling. Camera girl, get right in. 
Now, did you get it, camera girl? Now, let me cover back this part. I wanted to get, uh, you didn't get it, you know? You didn't get it. Let me see if I get it now. Yes, it was up here. All the way, the boiling was up here. And the, the, this is the starch, y'all. This sort of frothiness, it is the starch. Now, at this point, we are gonna remove it from the flame. Yeah? And I want it to come right back in over here, camera girl. We are gonna remove it from the flame. I hope I get that grip on this thing and don't get in any casualty. Come on, camera girl. We're gonna remove it from the flame and we are gonna pour it out in our sieve right here. Mm -hmm. While pouring it out, you let the, the cold water run right over it. You're gonna run the cold water right through it. Okay, y'all? Let me get out of this thing. Yeah? We have a little leaf back in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. While the water is running in there, you're gonna proceed to use your spoon to wash, to keep washing, washing. Hold, are you there? Mm -hmm. My, I wanted a bigger seal, right? Look at the water that is running underneath. You want to wash it till you see water coming clear, okay? Mm -hmm. You heen on it? Are you heen? Yes. And you wash it until you proceed to see the water coming clear. Now it is clear. That water is clear. Okay, y'all? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go right back. Now it is, it is part cooked right here now, you know. And maybe you're wondering, get back. What is Debbie down here doing? Yes, we're coming right back over here and we have enough hot water inside our kettle and we're gonna pour right over and that will be enough to finish it off notch up your flame mm -hmm. your flame is up now you know you got to have to put your little salt in your rice you're gonna proceed now to salt your rice to your taste you know i don't go for a lot of salt but as i say salt your rice to taste And this is good for me. Now, some people use butter, but it's easier. Now to this 20 ounces of rice, I'm gonna add like two running over tablespoons of light vegetable oil, canola, or any oil that is of a light color. Okay? And you're going to proceed to leave your rice to cook as how you'd cook a normal rice. Right in back camera girl. Now look at the rice. You can see all the rice in the pot. The water is on top of it and you can see. Now we are gonna cover and we are gonna proceed to cook our rice. Just as if you, you did not do this boiling off, this par boiling off. Now it starts boiling because it's boiling water, put it back in. So you're gonna lower your flame to medium. And once it's at medium, you leave it there until you, you, you got to check your rice. You got to continue to check your rice. Pardon me all. So you're going to leave it there until the water starts evaporating. When the water starts evaporating, you're going to proceed now to turn it down to low. And it stayed here to when you come and don't stir it again. Do not stir it. You have no need to trouble it again. You just watch it and lower your flame. Once the water starts evaporating, and you see just the rice on top you'll proceed to put it down to low and leave it there until when you come and you flip up your rice, you realize that all the water is being evaporated. Okay, y'all? So when that has happened, we'll see you and you'll see the end of it. You'll see the texture of the rice and all of that. Yes, family, we are right back and I want to proceed to go into my rice pot. What I want to show you, I want to clarify something because I know some people saw probably saw the Crisco, but if you look at the, the, the oil that is, it, it says Crisco corn oil. But if you notice, it's not corn oil, it's a Crisco bottle, but it's some canola oil that I threw into it. I'm just clarifying, because I know, I'm asking if you are heen, and I know I've seen that you are heen, and I want you to be heen, and make sure I'm clarifying this now. Okay, y'all? So now, we're gonna proceed to go 
into our right spot. And camera girl, I want you to get right in, right in on this pot of rice. I'm opening it up, y'all. My flame is still there, low, And I want you to see that I've never chopped the rice. I've not flipped it or anything. So if you look at it, you'll see there has been no flip where the water has been evaporated and we have these little holes and all of that. That is another thing to show you that your rice is finished and properly cooked. When you see these little holes starts coming, it means that the rice is finished or the water, or the water is, has been evaporated. Okay, so we're going to flip. So let me turn off our flame because it's quite evident that the rice is cooked. It's ready. Okay, y'all? Mm -hmm. So this is our seven times white rice. Okay? You might not be here, but if you look at it, you'll realize. Okay, y'all? And this is a healthy way of doing your white rice. Okay? I'm going to taste a little bit, which I know it tastes already. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And family, try it like that. Try it. I turn off mine here. Some people like their rice maybe a little shelly. I don't like my rice too much shelly, honestly, family. But if you like your rice a little on the shelly side, you can throw on all the grains, scatter. Just use a little less water. Okay? That's just it. Use a little less water to cover your rice. Okay? I like my rice sort of, kind of, sort of fluffy, fluffyish on the fluffy side, you know? It's not nothing where you know me can dip down my mouth into an all of that family. But you know what happened? I'm going to plate up a little for you and I'm going to show you. You can serve this with any protein type of your choice. Mm -hmm. Yes, any protein type of your choice. Because it's just fluffy, it's just nice and all of that. Okay? And I'm serving up this, right? When you don't get to cup it, because sometimes, you know, we will cup it and we bowl it or plate it but when you don't do that you can fix it up nice like this get right in you know make it have a nice little shape for Aussie or wifey or something this is good too okay all right over here I have some chicken liver mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do for you this chicken liver video okay and I'm gonna put just showing you where you can go and serve it up within a family. This is what I have, and I'm just showing you that I'm plating it up with some of this. Okay? Mm hmm And then right here, I have some callaloo, the Jamaican callaloo. And please check out the channel, y'all. It's there in depth, how you can clean it, and all of that. So you, serve, you can serve up this with your nice little serving of chicken liver. Mm-hmm. And your nice little serving of Callaloo, your greens, whether whatever the greens you have where you are. This is our greens mostly in Jamaica. Callaloo, a lot of people go for it. And this is a nutritious dish because this is chicken liver is filled with iron and the callaloo is filled with iron. And I want you all to try this, family. And I, well, I know so I love when I eat it. I got taste liquor. This is a Jamaican thing, you know. Any of y'all who ever do this, um, Please to comment below. Any of you all old time, long time Jamaican, ever do something like this, please to comment. Put in little on the pot cover. Come on, y'all, right in. Mm -hmm. Any of you old time or any of you at all ever do this? Yeah, man, put in a little on the pot cover. Yeah? Oh, a little green zetto, because the green's really nice. Nutritious thing. You put your little greens. And you proceed to mix up. Mm -hmm. Seven times white rice. Yeah, this is what was um, demonstrated today. But it's just what we're serving it with. A little color, little greens. Whatever, whatever your greens are. And some chicken liver. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. From my kitchen to yours. From my kitchen to your palate. To your stomach. I hope you all try this. My color is peppery and my liver is peppery and nice. Mm hmm Really nice. I remember any of you ever do this what me doing. Eat out a pot cover. Comment. Mm -hmm. From my kitchen to yours. Please try it. Seven times white rice. Serve it whatever meat and protein of your choice. 
Yeah, man. They be from down on yard. When I'm finished with you all on this channel, you all will be cooking Jamaican. Try it.